In this lesson, we'll learn about skinning. Skinning is the process of taking bones or any objects that can influence a, a mesh deformation-wise and having those bones or having those objects deform your character's mesh or deform your, your character model. So, any time you see a video game or you're watching a movie and you see these 3D characters jumping around, moving around, they have a skeleton built in them and that skeleton is driving their deformations or their change of shape. So what we're going to do is learn the process of skinning in Max and we'll just skim the surface again. If you'd like to learn more about the skinning process, please feel free to look into our intro to rigging course, intro to character rigging, and also our character rigging for production goes into how to really get some nice results out of your skin deformations. But let's say we go ahead and get started. So how do we have these bones that are right now in our scene, how do we have these deform our arm mesh? What we first want to do is select the arm mesh and head over to the modify panel. Under the modifier list, we want to grab the skin modifier. We can press the S key to filter out the other modifiers until we find skin. Let's go ahead and choose that. Okay, so the next step is to simply choose the add option which is found underneath the parameters rollout. So we'll go to bones and choose add. Even though this says bones, we most certainly don't have to use bones for our skinning process. We can use any object we'd like, which is great. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and now choose the bones to add to this this mesh to deform it. That's going to be the upper arm. I'll control click the forearm and the wrist bone. This hand nub, that's the very last bone at the end of the chain. That little small bone there. I don't like to add that to the bone list because that just adds unnecessary work when it comes to editing the deformations that we get initially as we add these bones to our skin. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the hand nub out of the list. Just go ahead and choose these first three and choose select. Okay, let's see what this does now. First, we can see what bones are now going to influence this mesh. Also notice this. If we were to go ahead and select the mesh, or select the bone, let's say the forearm. Again, if you're having trouble selecting that, head over to your schematic view, select it from the list, the forearm bone. Okay, so with that selected, watch this. Now as we go ahead and rotate this, you can see now the mesh is being driven by the bone. How is this working? Well, in a way it's like parenting, and I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. Selecting the mesh, let's head over to Edit Mesh and we'll choose Vertex. From there, I'll go ahead and select one of these Vertex points, go to the Move tool, pressing the W key and start to move these around, or move this little guy around. So what's happening is that we've actually parented, in a way, the vertices that make up our mesh to the influence objects, which in our case are the arm bones. So we've gone ahead and taken those bones and said, all right, I want to have you be the parent, and I want these vertices to be the child. So that's basically what we've done. So in this lesson, what we have learned is essentially the process of skinning and max. In the next lesson, what we'll do is take a look at how to modify our skin deformations.